keep your feet underneath you, you catch these rockets, well dang, you're gonna be able to catch anything. You understand? Yes, sir. You can be the best football player this town has ever seen. And put in the time. Ready? Set. Hut, hut. Eyes up, son. Combination hard work and desire equals what? The best. Who's going to state someday? I am. Who's that? I am. Who's the best there is around here? Josh Davis. You know it, buddy. That's me right there, buddy. We had a team that year. Anybody that's ever won a state championship in football is right there. And someday, you're gonna be up there with me too. Can you see it? I can see it, because when I look at you, Josh, I see greatness. It's in here. Can you feel it? <laughs> Robert, that's enough. <laughs> Did you say your prayers, honey? Mm-hmm. Good boy. Mm. Good night, sweetheart. I love you. Mm. Good night, son. Dad. I don't know if you can see me, but can you help me be great? I'm supposed to be great. It's for my dad. Right down the time, let's line it up. Go D, watch right side. Alpha! Alpha! You want the line right here. Ready? Man, that kid you got throwing the ball, coach. He's a playmaker. There's your leader. Oh, he's only a part of the equation. Let's go, 88! Tell you what, if the ball's in the air, 88's gonna catch it. That's your boy Josh out there, isn't it, coach? Sure is. I've been working long and hard for this. Bring it in, let's go boys. Helmets off, take your knee, listen up. Now I trust you've got your schedules for the fall semester. If not, get it done. Not only am I your coach for the next four years, I'm a beloved teacher as well. The more I know you in the classroom, the better I can coach you on the field. I want high test scores, high football scores. How's that sound? Yes sir. You heard the man, you need to get into the classroom. This little plop and flush is your career's going down the toilet if you don't get there. You got it? Yes, sir. What's that? I can't hear you. Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. Great practice today. Pick a partner, spot each other. I want 30 minutes of weights before you hit the showers. Summer's just beginning, gentlemen. Before September, this team's going to be more than ready. Put in the time. Hey, you heard the coach. Get your butts up there. Get your lifts going. Put in the damn time! So I guess we can start calling you a quarterback now. Don't lift too heavy. We need to protect your perfect arm. And his perfect hair. Shut up, Ryan. Fine. I won't protect your hair. Whatever, man. Any of us could be a QB. Throw the ball somewhere around, baby coach. He's going to catch it. Am I right? That's right. So you're the king out there, is that it? You think you can get us to stay? Well, I'm not a king, but uh, I will be the best when it comes to football. The best this school's ever seen, anyway. And I don't think, Sam. I know I can get us to stay. How'd you learn to catch like that? His dad's the coach, idiot. He's been catching football since birth. Nah, you guys don't get it. It's on the feet. The speed, the agility. I'd love to see you catch with your feet, Terry. <laughs> All right, ladies, we're done for the day. Let's get down and get the showers going. Oh, remember, get some underarm deodorant on. I'm sure your parents would appreciate that at the dinner table. 
Yes, sir. Josh, coach needs to see you outside. Took you long enough to do your hair. Dude, I got a recommendation out of Bolt. Ricky, some of those girls this year? I, I, yeah, but. Ready? Set hike! Nice. That's what we need right there. Perfect. Josh, we doing this or what? Come on. What's so funny? What? Come on, you wanna play? Seriously. Yeah. Come on, one play, I'll guide you. Josh, what are you doing? You're not even on that team. Just, just one play, all right, buddy? Hey. Hi. I'm Josh. Uh, I know. You know? How? We've seen you at the summer camp. You're really good. I'm working on it. <laughs> My dad says you'll be able to go to any college you want the way you play. Says the team could win state this year with almost all freshmen. So you're going to Central this year too? For the love of God, Josh, give her a kiss or something. Let's play. What's your name? Uh, Sophie Kirkman. Okay, Sophie Kirkman. You ever catch a football before? Nope. Well, my quarterback, Kyle, here is going to throw you a perfect pass right down the field. And you're going to try to get around me and look for the ball. Sounds uh, easy. Let's go. Ready? Good hike. Come on, Josh. <laughs> Thanks for letting me play. Yeah, no problem. You're awesome. We, you are awesome at this. Uh, a bunch of us are going to the movies uh, right after the picnic. You guys want to come with us? Your friend's coming? Yeah, that sounds great. Oh, we're going to finish this game up first, though. Cool. I'll see you in a little bit, then. Yeah. But seriously, does that count for our team or yours? We'll take it. The kids are going to really enjoy it. Hey, uh, Dad, I need you to drive me somewhere. Hey, son, you remember meeting Mr. Logan. He's the principal of the high school. He's looking forward to watch you play this year. I've been hearing about you for quite some time, Joshua. <laughs> your, uh, your father's a proud man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'll be playing wide receiver for our team, is that right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hey, um, Dad, do you think you could drive us to the movie theater? We only have like 15 minutes to get there. Josh, not today. Why? No, you don't even have to drive me. I can get a ride. Hey, um, I'm gonna stay at Kyle's house tonight. Like that sounds good, honey. It's fine. No, son, I want you to stay and help clean up. Oh, wonderful. It's good seeing such great character in a young man. It's good for the community. Dad, all the other guys are going. How come I have to stay? I wasn't asking you. You set the example for the others. They're gonna need help loading these tables. Dad, this isn't fair. You always do this. I'll be back to pick you up in about an hour. It's <sighs> bullshit. What did you just say to me? Nothing. You're skating on thin ice. Do you understand me? You've had fun with your friends all day today. Now put in the time. Just let me go. This isn't fair. I hate this, and I hate you. Would you excuse us for a moment, Mr. Logan? Carol. Robert, honey, you've got to calm down, OK? Your blood pressure is up. You're stuttering again. I don't stutter. You know you stutter when you get upset. It's OK. It's ridiculous. Let's go. Uh, Robert. I'll be back in about an hour to pick you up. We'll launch some rockets at the house, all right, buddy? Bye, sweetie.
dad's a teacher, right? Yeah. Like a scientist or something? He launches rockets at his house? Yeah, he does. That's pretty awesome. Does he have like a secret layer in his basement or something? No, don't! My son Josh Davis, I was told he was here. Where is he? Yes, sir. What's your name? Robert Davis. I'm his father. Where's parents? Yes. Of course, he's in the ER right now. So just stay yeah. calm, and I'm ER. sure the doctors are going to come out and talk well, to you as soon as they what can. What happened, though? We were told just he fell. Is he okay? Have you spoken to gonna him? Everything's going to be all right. Just stay are calm. Are you sure? Just stay stay calm. calm. It's not very easy to do. I'm sure everything's going to be okay. I'm going to find my son. Mrs. Davis, please, Josh. Wait, you can't go oh, back excuse here. Excuse me, I'm sorry. No, I'm going to find my son, Josh Davis, please. Please, excuse wait. me, excuse me, I apologize. Josh, Josh, please, can you tell me where my son is? Where is Josh? Oh my God. Josh, oh my God. Get that off there. Oh no, oh my baby. Oh no, oh no. Oh, please, let the dogs do their work. Let the doctors do their work. No, 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 I have to say my boy. They're doing everything they're going to be okay, Mrs. Davis. No, my Dr. Ranke. Doctor. Hi, I was just working with your son. Is he okay? Can we see him, please? Um, in a minute. However, I need to give you some details first. Okay. Perhaps we could sit. No, we're fine. Please. Okay. Um, Josh has suffered a pretty severe head injury. He has a concussion and a fracture of the skull. Do you have any idea of what happened, Doctor? We were just with him and we don't know. I was told... Uh, Apparently, he either fell or jumped from a moving vehicle. It does seem that he landed on his feet, but the momentum caused him to fall backwards, and his head made impact with the pavement. Is he awake? He's not awake yet, yeah. This is a severe head injury. He has, at minimum, a concussion, and in the next few days, as the swelling goes down and we can repeat some CT scans, we may find that there is more damage we don't know about yet. He's also wearing a brace around his neck because of the whiplash. He has the large cuts on the back. I want to see him. We need to, we need to see him. We really want to see him, doctor. No, of course, of course you do. Please come with me. Thank you. Right this way, please. Oh, Robert. Damn it, Josh. Wake up, son. Did you hear me? I said wake up. Wake up! Excuse me, Mr. Davis. Mrs. Davis. I want you to know that with time, I do believe Josh is gonna get better, okay? He's young, he's strong, and we got the bleeding stopped very soon. But he needs to rest now. Can you please come with me? Let's give it some time. Please come with me. Doctor, is he, he's a football player. Well, he's going to be a football player. He's the best there is. He's a warrior. He's gonna come through this. Thank you. Well, um, let's give him the night to rest. We're monitoring him closely. We'll know a lot more in the morning. We're gonna be staying. We need to stay. We need to be here when he wakes up. Absolutely, absolutely. You could wait here in the waiting room or there is a hotel across the street. If we'll you be right to... here. Yeah. He's a tough young, young man. He's gonna wake up soon. I'll give you a call as soon as I have more information. Oh, Robert.
these on. What is this? You're awake. That's good, but we need to keep these on, okay? Is this Wednesday? Actually, it's a Friday. Can you look at me? No. Doctor? Well, look who decided to join us. Oh, Josh. Josh, you're awake. Oh, honey. Sweetie. Mom? Yeah, honey. You okay? You had a bad fall and you hit your head really hard, but you are okay now. My head hurts. Oh, I know. Josh, I'm Dr. Ranke. One of the docs taking care of you. I'm gonna check some things out on you, okay? All right, can you see me? Look right here. Purple. Hmm, passion. An end zone. Can you say those back to me? <laughs> Purple, passion, Enzo. Very good, you got one point. All right, now what's your full name? Joshua Brandon Davis. And the judgment is? That is correct. All right, that's another point. Now, uh, what kind of place is this? A hospital, I think. Good. What, what day is it? Is this Wednesday? Listen, I'll ask the questions, but it's Friday. <laughs> I'll give you that one for free. Now, who do we have in the room here with you? That's my dad. <laughs> yeah. And over here? It's my mom. Yeah. <laughs> she's laughing. Yeah. Well, that's because she's so happy to see you awake and talking oh. to us. <laughs> so how do you feel? My head hurts. I can't move my neck. I'm my eyes hurt. Well, the neck is easily explainable. You've got this clunky thing called a brace around you. It's keeping you from moving on purpose. But there's other parts I want you to move. Toes, fingers. Can you make them move? Ha! It's the best dance move you've ever made. I'm really glad to see that. I think you're gonna be okay. Uh, those three words I had you repeat. You remember any of them? End zone. That's a start. You're gonna be all right. Here and here, what we see on your occipital bone is a non-displaced fracture, meaning a break that didn't shift around. And then we got the wound over it stitched up really nicely, so it's all going to heal really well. That part doesn't worry me. However, over here, right there, right there, right there. Here's what happened. When you came off that trailer, your momentum was so fast that the impact of your head hitting the ground made your brain dance around. The front of your brain smacked into the inside of your forehead, causing swelling of your frontal lobe. So I bruised my brain? I have a bruise on my brain. Yeah, that's a very good way to put it. Just like you could bruise your knee if you fell on it, your brain's made out of soft tissue, so you bruised it. So what does that mean? What can we do? Like any bruise, you just have to let it heal. Now, now of course, you need to give it time to do so, which means that the rest of this summer is gonna be devoted to just resting. But I'll be okay by the fall, right? My football team starts playing in the fall. I'm in high school this year, it's my first high school season. Josh. <clears throat> I'm afraid there's not gonna be any football. What? W what do you mean? I believe you will fully recover. 
but this is a very serious injury. Dad, talk to him, tell him. What about next season? Any contact sport would be so dangerous after what you've just been through. All it would take is one more hit. I'm taking this seriously and I need you to take this seriously too. And that means boxing, wrestling, hockey, definitely football. But Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I know this is so difficult no, you for don't. you. And I... How could you know you don't know anything? No, I was supposed to play football, please. No. I, I could play another position, any other position, I'll be fine. Josh, it's okay. No, get off of me! No, I'm supposed to play football! Please, tell him. Tell him! Tell him I'm supposed to play football! Tell him! Please, don't. Feeling okay? Yeah, I think so. Okay. You're home, honey. Okay. Be careful, take it easy. Good, that's it, good, good. Now the doctor says you need to keep sitting upright, honey, even when you're in bed. My head hurts. Oh, okay. I have such a headache. Oh, I'm sorry, okay, sit down in here. And rest. That's what you really need. Can I get you anything? You want some water? No. Okay. You rest for a while. Okay, sweetie. Son? I was supposed to play. To be the best. And that's what I thought. You could have been. Hey, you. Hey. You're good at cheerleading and football. That's rare. I think I like football better than I like cheering. Maybe you could play my position. I think you'd be good at it. I heard what happened that day. I just, 
I can't believe it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh, I made you this. I know it's dorky or whatever, but I made it for you while you were in the hospital. You made this? Thank you. It's awesome. What do you think? Looks perfect. All right. Well, I'm glad you're OK. Uh, I've got to get back. See you around, yeah? Yeah. Uh, maybe we could still catch that movie sometime. I'd like that. Football team looks like winners this year. What do you think? I mean, my dad's the coach. Robert Davis, he coaches winners. That's what he does. Yeah, I know. You're Josh, his son, right? Yeah. I'm Mr. Olson, I'm part of the faculty here at Central. You're a teacher? Well, I'm a guidance counselor, actually, but uh, I'm also the coach of the cross country team. You interested? What? Well, I saw you watching. I thought you might be interested. Oh, uh, no. I understood you were quite the football player, quite the athlete. I know what happened, Josh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you can't play. Look, you don't have to talk to me or or do anything you don't want to do. But maybe, maybe you could run with us. Who knows? Running? Top seven guys on my team have a chance at state this year. There's state championships for cross country? That's right. So it's, it's just a race? Right again, five kilometers. How long is that? Yeah, it's a little over three miles. Three miles? You run three miles in a row. <laughs> well, I don't. But uh, the team does, on race day. I'll tell you what, you want to check it out? Practice is tomorrow at 3 p.m. Nah, I'm good. OK. Well, hope to see you around school. Science is not an app on your smartphone. If you'd have told me 20 years ago that every student was going to have their phone with them all the time, I'd have pegged you as a science fiction writer. Don't even get me started on the writing skills. Well, maybe you should make them write more in the classroom, Robert. It is your classroom. Are you going to listen to what I'm saying? I'm not talking about the writing skills, Carol. How about you, Josh? Are you ready for the ninth grade? You're looking so much better, honey. Honey, did you hear me? How do you feel about cross country? Dad? What's that, cross country? It's not for him. Why? It's not for him. It's long distance running. Hmm. And besides, doctor's orders, no sports. If you'd consider running a sport. The doctor said no contact sports. He's not built for it. Long distance running, it's not for anybody. I don't know what Coach Olson's doing out there anyway. I can run, though. I can try. So it's just running where? No, they frolic in the woods. The woods? That sounds dangerous. It's not for him. He should focus on school. Maybe drama club. I'd be worried about your injury. Alone in the woods? I'm worried about my injury. I'm worried about my injury, but I have to do something. I have to try. Sit down. I'm finished. I said sit down. What? It's just not good for you. With, with your head, you outweigh those guys 10, 15 pounds. I'm trying to save you the embarrassment. I'm finished. May I be excused? Josh, honey. He's not built for it. Long distance running? It's not for anybody. I can run. Switch legs, guys. Good job.
Hey, I thought you might show up. I told you I wasn't interested. Huh. Well then, what can we do for you? I'd like to try out for the team. <laughs> you would? Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, well, see that sports bag over there? Why don't you uh, run over there, grab that bottle of water, and run it back, okay? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> all right, all right, relax. Congratulations, you made the team. <laughs> He's gonna run with us? Seven? He's a football player, coach. Well, football players have legs, don't they? Then they can run. Everybody, this is Josh Davis. He's a freshman this year, just like some of you, and he wants to run with us. So we should be grateful for that. Josh, you can take a seat right over here next to Chad. Follow him through the stretches since he knows them all. Nice shoes. Well, what do you have written on your shoes? That's his call sign. Coach has everybody pick one. It's like their own nickname. Hey, I'm Adam. That's a cool wristband. Switch! Wait, if your name's Adam, why does it say Jack on your shoe? Like Jack Skeleton from that movie. It's because I'm so skinny. Get it? Wait, so Speed and Jack Skeleton. Okay. So, um, Josh, you ever run before? Like, you know, run? Yeah, I was a wide receiver. I used to run all the time. Then why aren't you on the football team? <sighs> Something about me being too fast, I don't know. Okay, boys, today you're gonna be doing the back loop just like yesterday, all right? Four times around, that includes the soccer field. What does that include, gentlemen? Soccer field. Thank you, girls, you'll be doing this side loop back here. The goal of today is to stay together as a team, okay? Chad, you lead the boys. I'll be checking in on both teams. Let's go. So four times around? That doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> how far is just one time? Uh, two and a half miles. No, but how far is just one time? <laughs> <laughs> what? Can I sit here? You want our seats? No, just the one. Is that cool? So, uh, how's your legs? <laughs> <laughs> They're good. Yeah, we saw you walking over here. It was slower than yesterday's practice. Hey, what was that for? Leave him alone, man. He ran the 10 miles just like the rest of us. Plus, if he wanted to, we could break you in half. You, you don't want to do that, do you? Not yet. Did you guys get double servings or something? You gotta load up on carbs. Yeah. That's a perk of cross country, Josh. You can pretty much eat whatever you want. It's for the running. But you guys are so small. Yeah. We burn about 2,010 calories every practice, so we need the glycogen source for it. Are you eating a whole box of cereal right now? Yeah. You want some? I got another box. That's okay. Thank you. Man. I wish I could talk to a girl like that. Yeah, right, Adam, I dare you. No way. Why can't you guys talk to her? Dude, are you kidding me? Just look at her. Why don't I go talk to her for you? For what? She would never talk to us. You should do it, Josh. She might like you. You think so? Let's find out. No way. Hey, you. Josh, what happened? What'd she say? You guys were right. She wouldn't talk to me. I'll see you guys in practice. Okay guys, I know it's quick, but our first race is tomorrow. 
It's gonna be a dual meet. We're gonna host it here. It's gonna be a great opportunity for us to see where we stand. We're gonna show them what we got this year, okay? It'll be an awesome opportunity for the top seven guys and the top seven girls to compete for the varsity spots on the team. We want to run together as a unit. When you're racing, the longer that you can see your own teammate in front of you, the more likely you are ahead of the other team's number. Does everybody understand? What does he mean, top seven? Is there only seven guys in the team? Yeah, without you, we wouldn't qualify to run. The team needs seven. So I'm seven? What's your number, Adam? I'm not sure yet. I'll find out Thursday. Can anybody be any number? Yeah, it's whoever's the fastest, and it goes from there. But even the number one runner needs the number seven to win anything as a team. Today, we're going to be Indian running. Relax, relax, you'll be fine. All right, doesn't matter if you're number one, number three, number seven. Everybody stay together as a team, okay? For a refresher, for those of you who don't know what Indian running is, you run in a straight line. The person at the back of the line sprints up to the front, falls into pace, and then the next person at the back goes, so on and so forth. Okay? Easy enough? Is it easy? No. All right, let's do it. On the track, come on. Come on, Josh. Right now, buddy, let's go. Dude! There's that speed. Nice one. Just don't waste it all. We're doing this for like 90 minutes. school, Josh, you know that. I'll make it if I can. Yeah. Make sure you tell your mother where to go. <laughs> you're, not, you're not racing in those, are you? That's all I got. Those are gonna be heavy, dude. <laughs> Don't let anybody spike you. Yeah, man, be careful. I'll be fine, I think. Okay, guys, first race. Here we go, everybody just relax. It's gonna be fine, all right? We're expecting Chad to be out in front. So whoever's at number two, all right, just keep Chad in sight as long as you can. Who's ever at three, stay with two, and so on down the line. It's just running. Keep it simple, and it will be, okay? All right, hands in, team on three, here we go. One, two, three. Team! Team! Relax, Josh. It's just running. You nervous? Um, a little. You? Shit, yeah. Oh. Good. Runner to your mark. That's it, Chad. That's it, pal. Number one, baby. Number one. Mile one done.
job, good job, Brett, good job, Brett. That's six. Only the football star is left. He's walking. I better start it too fast. He better not be in the cart. Pick up those feet. You are finishing this race. Let's go. All the way. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's right here. That's what you do. You finish races. Nice job. All the way through. Good job. That's seven. All right. You okay? Hey, you finished. <clears throat> don't don't sit like that too long. Hey, we'll, we'll stretch right here. <sighs> Mr. Olson, you wanted to see me? Yeah, come in, take a seat. You can call me coach. Class is good so far today? Did a great job yesterday. What do you mean? I came in last place. Did you finish the race? Yeah, but what is it? Did you finish the race? Okay, have you ever run like that before? Exactly. So I'll say it again. You did a great job yesterday. Mr. Olson, I know you have to have seven guys to get to state, and I know you have to tell me I'm doing fine and all that. But... No, I don't, Josh. I don't have to tell you you're doing fine. Right, well, I just don't think we have a chance at state if I'm your seventh guy. Well, there's a lot of training left. Now you know what the races are gonna be like. You just have to put in the time. You can only get better from here, Josh. What'd you say? You can only get better. No, before that you said I, I just had to put in the time. That's right. My dad used to say that about football. <laughs> he used to tell me every day. <laughs> well, he's right, isn't he? Let me ask you something. When you were planning to play football, how much did you play? How often would you say you practiced? Every day. All day, all, all the time. How come? I was great. I was the best. I, I, th I thought I was gonna... Why do you think you were great? My dad. My dad knew I was a great player. He knew I had talent. That's admirable, but that's the wrong answer. You were great at football because you put in the time. You played over and over every day. I think it's wonderful, it was your dad's idea, but he wasn't the one doing the work that it takes to be great. And let me tell you something else, it takes a lot more than talent to be great at anything. So, what are you saying? I'm saying that we both know football is over now. But the great part doesn't have to be. You can still be great, Josh. I know this isn't how you thought it would be, but life is like that sometimes. If you want it, if you're willing to put in the time with running, just like you did with the football, I think you'll get the same results. You're not just a great football player. Is that what you called me in here for? No. I wanted to get you these. They might help. The blue ones there are for practice and the spikes are for the races, okay? Thanks. And I'm sure the guys told you about my call sign rule. I want you to pick something out for yourself. Hey, uh, Mr. Olson, do you think I can actually run with the other guys? Like, do we have a chance at state? I think that part's up to you, Josh. Oh, hey, what's up? You're not quitting, are you? What? No, I just, well, I, I thought about it. But you're not. Some of us, we thought, maybe after yesterday. 
That was that bad, huh? No, no, I thought you were really great. No, cross country is the first sport I've done where you can get in last and people still tell you you did great. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you talk to Coach about? Oh, yeah, he just gave me some shoes. Good. Don't quit. We need you. The voice team. I mean, um... Did you pick a nickname yet? Not yet. What's yours, by the way? Sunny. Uh, my mom always says that my hair reminds her of the sunshine. <laughs> I guess it's kind of silly. No, I like you. I, 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 I like the name of your hair. <laughs> Thanks. I guess I'll see you at practice. Yeah. Don't quit. All right, guys, today we're gonna to work on speed, not only chasing the competitor, but outrunning the competitor. All right, boys, you're gonna do the back loop all the way around, and girls, you're gonna go clear around the soccer field. The idea today is to run as fast as you can for the entire loop, okay? It's about 800 meters or so, and you'll get a short break. Hey, you might wanna sit out the first couple rounds. Get some extra rest, might help. Hey, how about you worry about you and I'll worry about me? Okay, guys, guys, enough, relax, all right? After 30 seconds on my whistle, the next runner is gonna go, all right? Focus on trying to get the runner in front of you in sight before the finish. And also, don't let the runner behind you catch you, okay? That's it, you're gonna pick a person to start, fall in line. You're chasing, but you're also getting chased. And that's the essence of racing, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's do it, let's line it up. Only those shoes could do the racing for you. Maybe, just maybe, we might be able to get to state this year. Chad, enough, let's line it up, let's go. Okay, runners to your mark. What are you doing? I'd like to go first. 
Okay, man. Look at these shitheads. Hey, your lady's gonna hit the weights anytime soon? Look at this, I can fit my whole hand around this kid's bicep. Let go. What'd you say? Hey, I'm asking you, kid, what'd you say? Leave him alone. Was it talking to you? Huh? Are you his mommy? What? What, Josh? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? It's enough. You're fast. You, you were fast today. Thanks. We can use it, that burst of speed. Yeah? Yeah, man. You just gotta get good enough to hang around the other team's last guys. The other back end runners. And then at the end of the race. Pass them? That's right. All at once. They're distance runners. No one has that speed. You just gotta use it at the right time. Okay, uh, I'll try it. This is my senior year. I always thought that. Stay, right? Chad, do you think I could ever run like you? The way you do? No.
still have room for dinner. It's a team thing, Mom. We have a big race tomorrow, and I'm gonna need a lot of energy. You'll be there, right? I think so, yes. I mean, this is it. Mm. Our team can officially qualify for the statement. Do you think you can get Dad to come? Well, Josh, your dad's a coach, and he has a team, too. It's a Saturday. We can make it. We run he drills on Saturday. You know that. I don't want you to eat like this anymore. One bowl a day is plenty. It's a running thing done. There's a huge race tomorrow. You wouldn't get it. What I do get is a paycheck to buy food for the house. And eating like this is a total waste of money. Seven. What's that? What? On the back of your shirt, seven. Oh, um, uh, Mr. Olson has his runners pick a nickname. It's like a call sign. You picked seven? Well, I didn't pick it. I'm the seventh man. I'm the seventh runner on the team. So you're the last runner. Does the first runner have one on his shirt? No. Oh. What's for dinner? Uh, not cupcakes. <laughs> you should come to my race tomorrow. I told you we run drills tomorrow, so. But good luck, okay? Dinner's in a few minutes, Josh. There's a lot of good runners here, guys. Crazy mile splits. I'm sure they're all thinking the same thing about you, Chad. We just have to run like we do in practice. Keep each other in sight. Nice, Josh. Thanks. You guys like it? It's perfect. How you doing? Hey, how are you, Scott? <laughs> Good to see you. Hey. Good to see you. Good to see you. So, uh, we all know who's gonna win here today. It's pretty much a one-team race. Too bad you got that football kid over there. <laughs> that is too bad. <laughs> you know, you have maybe four years, eight years, you'll be back. Looks like somebody's going home today. You know, I always look forward to coming here and seeing you gentlemen. Yeah, good luck today. You have a great day yourself, okay? See you, boss. Hey. Take it easy. Once you get in the back, that's where we're gonna be anyway. Hey, back off. What are you gonna do about it? Look at those shoes. The rocket? What are you, a cartoon? <laughs> Runners, to the mark! Feeling good? Yeah, yeah, I feel all right. Listen, today is the day, all right? You have put in the time. You find every single one of those number seven runners, and you pass them. Every one, today. You got it? I, I, I got it. Let's go.
Hey! Hey, can you run? Yeah. Get out of here, go. Adam, it's just that group ahead, Adam. We have to pass them now. Fight it. That's it, that's it. Where's Adam? Where's Adam? He should be right with you. I don't know. I never saw him. That's, that's North's fifth guy. I wish we'd have been ahead of him. Something must have happened. Here, here, get him up, get him up, let's walk him out, let's walk him out, right over here, right over here. Are you okay? I guess. You finished. I'd like to thank you all for being here and participating in this fantastic event. These athletes, boys and girls alike, are truly remarkable people. And of course, the top overall finisher will go on to represent this great sport at the state meet. And our top three finishers are the Lake Chargers, North High School, and Central High School. In third place, with a phenomenal performance all year long, are the Lake Chargers. In second place, with some of the fastest pace times I've seen from them, since I can remember at least, North High. <laughs> and let's hear it for the Falcons of Central High and their coach, Mr. Keith Anson, our official state qualifier. Dad, you down here? Dad, what are you doing? Just tidying up a little bit. Hey. We never got to use this one. Oh, that? That's something I was going to use in class. I like it. 
Better quality than when you were nine. I, uh, I changed my call sign. The, the, the name on the back of the shirt. The seven? Yeah, I changed it. The rocket. I thought you'd like that. The rocket. I'm going to state. Yeah, the team, we are. I made it. I know, your mom told me. Congratulations, Josh. It's in one week. Yeah, I know. I've got a playoff game in a week as well. Long season, huh? Yeah. Your grades up? Yeah, Dad. Matt? Hey. You're kidding. You're a teacher at my school, Dad. I know you know what my grades are. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get anything past the old man, isn't it? <laughs> That's for sure. Do your mom a favor and take the trash bins out from the garage, okay? Look, I know it's not football, but I'd like you to come. I'm gonna try to, well, it's a long shot, but we have a chance to win. Good luck at your playoff game. I don't know if this matters. I don't know why my... Everything's different now. If you could just help me win this race, help my team, I know I can still do something great for my dad and, and also for me. Anyway. Guys, bring it in, bring it in. Here we go. We are here. Okay, this is it. This is state. I don't have a lot to say to you. We've worked all season. This is the moment. People are gonna lead off fast off that starting line. Don't get caught up in that. Let's run our race. Okay? Can we actually win this? The whole thing? Well, the probability of us coming in last is one in seven. How do you know that? Isn't there only seven teams here? <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Don't worry about any of that. Okay, just clear your head and focus. All right, McLean, you've been running behind Chad at number two all season. You hang right there. Everybody hang with him. That's all we got to do, okay? We're only as fast as our last guy. That's right. We are only as good as our last guy. All right, let's do this. State on three. Here we go. One, two, three, state! state. Let's get it. Come on. I'm glad you're here. Coach, hey, yeah. good to see you, man. You too. Nice shirts. What are you guys gonna run today or what? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Mm. Does Josh know you're here today? He asked me to come, but uh, no, no, I don't think so. Oh. Yeah. Coach, how easy is the back end runner? Kind of slow. Well, Coach, Josh is the reason we're here. Why don't you guys go uh, catch the gun, okay? I'll catch up with you.
job, guys. Good work. Well, there we go. That's our first guy there. That's our first guy right there. That's him. That's it, Chad. That's right, big dog. Come on, Speed. You can hang with these guys, man. You can hang with them. Is he in there? Is that him? Let's go, David. Let's go, Bobby. Nice job. Stay together. Stay together. Where is he? That's Adam right there. Let's go, Adam. Come on, buddy. All the way through, all the way through. That's Josh. Let's go, Josh. Let's go, Josh. This is too fast. We're not even at mile two yet. Stay with me. Let's go. Zach, you good? Uh, I'm good. But what are we doing? We're winning. <laughs> gentlemen thank you for being here to support these outstanding young men it is truly an exceptional accomplishment to be in any of these fierce competitors company now we have an upset today the favored Southeast Tech will be going on to accept second place individual medals and they have earned second place overall today
Now this was truly earned today by a team that I'm about to hand this to. Together, they ran a season that took them all the way. I would like to announce and personally congratulate the first place state champions, Coach Keith Olsen oh of the Central Falcons. <laughs> Chad, that's all you, pal. Hoist it up. <laughs> hey, what did you do today? It was the shoes, man. <laughs> that's my son. Let this kid hold this. <laughs> it's all you, pal. Faith in me, oh. when my faith is running low. Spare a little grace for me, oh. Cause sometimes I'm not graceful at all. But I keep on dancing like I ain't got no strings. When my seem to get One second I'm so confident Oh no The next minute I'm losing it But I keep believing One day I'll get it Right As long as I'm breathing It's a beautiful Life Oh, I know, don't tell me no 